Most of us rely on charter dive boats to take us to and from well-known dive sites. Some divers have an amazing passion for the sport, working in as many dives as possible when on vacation. For these divers, the availability of diving from shore is the perfect complement to boat diving. As independent divers, you and your buddy are responsible for mapping out your plans for the much anticipated dive. Once you have arrived at your dive destination, it's time to scout for sites where the shore diving is possible. When shore diving in the ocean, beware of hazardous marine life such as spiny sea urchins or stingrays on the sandy bottom. Observing activities near the dive sites is also helpful. Watch for boat traffic, kayaking, or skiers in the area, especially in lakes. If there's too much activity or too many environmental problems make you then unsafe, it's best to move to another location. Now that you have done your homework and you've found the best site for you and your buddy, it's time to set up base camp. Avoid high traffic areas and be considerate of other vacationers near you when claiming a desired location. Anything from your car to a large tarp spread on the ground will work. Cars work well when able to park near the campsite. You can gear up at the vehicle, store any personal articles, and lock the car before moving to the entry site. A tarp spread on the ground is especially handy if you have a non-diving friend who can stay at the base camp while you are diving. When spreading the tarp on the ground, be sure to keep it safely above the highest surf water line. Secure the corners by setting extra weights or other items at each corner. Stock the base camp for anything you may need. Provide plenty of snacks and fluids, especially water, for the divers to enjoy during the surface intervals. Other important items to have handy include a first aid kit, fully charged cell phone, and a DAN membership number for each diver. Once the dive site is selected and base camp is set up, decide on the best entry and exit points. Also determine an alternate exit point in the event conditions change during your dive. When gearing up for a shore dive, don all of your gear but the mass snorkel and fins. Include booties or other types of foot protection to prevent any cuts, bruises, or stings from marine life. Shore diving is best when surf is mild. Rough surf with large waves can be dangerous and should be avoided. If this situation occurs, consider other possibilities such as using a dock or stairs to enter and exit. Some locations also allow walking down and up boat ramps. If you are entering the water by dock or stairs and handrails are present, use them. The rails will give you extra balance needed to prevent slipping. Handrails are also a great place to maintain your balance while performing the figure four method of putting on your fins. If extra help is needed, it may be best to don your gear while sitting on a bench or even better, steps leading into the water. At this time, a buddy's help can be invaluable. Learning how to execute shore dives can be an exciting addition to your diving adventures. Just remember to do your pre-dive homework, practice necessary safety procedures, and enjoy the freedom and fun scuba diving from shore has to offer. This video is for demonstration purposes only and not intended to replace formal scuba instruction. For more information, contact your local dive center.